Hi, my name is Nasser Sheikh and I'm a Chartered Certified Accountant with Hoffman & Cohen, a firm based in Knightsbridge, London. Our today's topic of discussion is a topic that will be of interest to the existing landlords or the individuals looking into investing into property market. The reason we have created this video is because there's a lot of hype surrounding if the existing landlord should transfer their existing property portfolio into a limited company which will allow them to fully claim the interest paid on the mortgage in comparison to the individuals who are restricted with their interest claim. For the record, in theory, it may be better to incorporate, but the, uh, but the interest rates that are generally going to be received by the company or offered to the company could possibly be higher than the interest rate which is available to the personal or individuals. This video will have quite a few numbers flying around, so it may be best to avoid showing you my not so good looking face and instead show you the beautiful face of tax saving numbers which may bring the smile on your face. Remember the scenario explained in this video is used as an example. However, tax advice is given depending upon number of situation or depending upon your individual case by case basis. So please make sure that you discuss your circumstances with your accountant and if you don't have one then with a suitably qualified accountant. So let's have a look at the numbers and then I may show you my face again. See you soon. Okay, so let's use a comparison between holding the property under personal name versus holding the property under company name. As some of you may not have filed your 2018-19 self-assessment, which is why I will discuss the legislation from 2018-19 onwards. The current legislation dictates in 2018-19 the landlords can claim 50% of the interest paid on the mortgage on the rental properties against their rental income. The landlord will also receive 20% tax relief on the remaining 50% of the interest. In 2019-20, the 50% claim will be reduced to 25%, while 20% tax relief will be claimed on the remaining 75% of the interest. In 2020-21, the 25% claim will be reduced to 0%, while 20% tax relief will now be claimed on the entire 100% of the interest. I understand that it could be confusing for many to understand the mechanism which is why we will use an example to better explain you the numbers. Now let's say that you are a higher rate taxpayer with a property portfolio which is valued at £2 million. You have the outstanding moorings or the mortgage of £1.2 at an interest rate of 2.5%. You receive a net rental income of £90,000, which is before the interest deduction. And if you were a corporation, you would possibly have an increased interest rate of 3.5% or could possibly be more. Now, as you can see that there are a lot of numbers flying around on this prop property portfolio under personal name. We are going to ignore 2016, 17, 17, 18 or 18, 19 because these years have already been passed. Now they are there on the calculations in order for you to see the comparison, but we are just going to ignore while explaining the difference uh, on the amount of tax saving or the amount of tax that you're going to pay extra once the legislation has changed. So here we're going to only focus on 2019, 20 and 2020, 21. If you can see from the numbers, that the amount of take-home income that you're going to have is 31,500 in 2019-20. Similarly, the amount of take-home income that you're going to have in 2020-21 is 30,000 pounds. Now, if you see the comparison between 2016-17 and 2019-20, you will see that you are paying 6,000 pounds more in 2020-21 in comparison to what you have paid in 2016-17. Well I believe congratulations is in order because this is how you will contribute more towards NHS than the lied Brexit promises. Alright so on this slide we will now see the calculations if you held the property portfolio under the company name. 
Again, as I've indicated earlier, the 2016, 17, 17, 18, and 18, 19 years have already been passed, and the calculations are there for the comparison purposes, but we're going to only talk about 1920 and 2021. If you can see, your take home income in 2019 20 is 26894. Similarly, your take home income in 2020 21 is 27,542. So, this is the numbers. Now, we obviously are going to compare the take home income uh, under the company name and the take home income under the personal name in our next slide. So, you'll be able to see if you're better off or worse off using the company. Now on this comparison, you can see that if you held the property under your personal name in 2019-20, your total tax, total take home income would have been 31,500, which was explained in the previous slides before. Similarly, in 2019-20, if the properties were held under the company name, the take home income is 26,894, which is 4,606 pound worse off if the properties were held under the company name. You can also see in 2021, the take home income under the personal name is £30,000, while the take home income under the company name is 27542, resulting in 24458 worse off if the properties were held under the company name. I'm sure you are confused and probably wondering that how can you be worse off by using the property company or holding the properties under the company? Or you may also be wondering that uh, everyone using the company to hold the properties is insane or what? Well, I believe you have seen enough numbers and you may find my face a little better looking now to explain this further. So I would say there's a good chance that you may now prefer looking at my face than those mind-boggling boring numbers. So, well, I know we are confused, so let me clear up this confusion. Using the company may be worse off in this particular example I used or I gave, but there are a number of occasions or circumstances which may make the company a better proposition than using the property, property portfolio under your personal name. It is possible that you may end up securing a similar interest rate on the company as you have on the personal name. Or you may decide to only withdraw the funds or income under the basic rate threshold from the company and reinvest the rest into the company. That would save you a lot in taxes. It is not possible for me to cover every single situation on this video, but it may be prudent that you discuss your situation with your accountant who can crunch the numbers in accordance to your situation precisely and be able to advise you effectively. I'm aware that there are a number of landlords out there who may benefit from transferring the portfolio or the property portfolio to a property company or a property investment company. In our next video, we'll focus on the mechanism and the traps that you may need to be aware of on how and, and, on, and how to overcome those traps. Uh, well, I think I've explained enough uh, and I don't want to bore you any further. So uh, that'll be all the boring talk that you'll hear from me today. So until next week, uh, I wish you a great day and a wonderful week. Thank you very much.